clear champion, but is it past its best? I think Firestorm's going to be the one to beat. They've beaten us all a number of times, luckily. Right. But, but in this first round, I mean, you're already looking ahead. <laughs> in this first round. Yeah. yeah, no problem. We will do it for Wales, and yeah. this time, the trophy's ours. Good. Six-wheeled of alloy and polycarbonate construction, it's able to lift twice its own weight with a powerful push, but self riding's very slow. Roboteers, stand by. The teams, Panic Attack and Wales on the left, Kim Davis, Captain Terra Turtle, the Frizzell family on the right, Crustacean there from South Africa, the Visser family on the left, Cerberus on the right, the Kakufa boys and Alex Wink. They're in the arena for the house robots shunt. The double bulldozer blades, ooh, and the crushing claws of Sir Killalot. Three, two, one. Two. There we see Panic Attack, winners of the second wars, the second domestic UK championships, putting pressure on Cerberus, spinning away there in the centre of the war zone. Terra Turtle at the top. Panic Attack backs away, the sides protected by those yellow and black striped flanges. There's Crustacean getting in on the action as well with the front crab claws and chasing away down on Cerberus. The surface job dulled, we thought, in the pits. Dulled sensors as well, I should think. There's the pit release. Cerberus in trouble. So too Terra Turtle sort of caught on panic attack. Therefore, can be dragged by the Welsh team and almost dredged the pit of oblivion there. Cerberus and Crustacean. Lock jaws and claws, and Cerberus down, they've gone, and Panic Attack very nearly followed, I tell you what, they nearly drove themselves into the pit, Panic Attack. Terra Turtle being pushed away, Cerberus and the Cypriot boys, they didn't last long. Panic Attack being pushed away. Oh, now back in the Panic Attack there, team on the left is Kevin Pritchard. He was with Kim Davis when they won the UK Championships, then he went away to develop, develop his own robot, and he's back with Kim once more for this Commonwealth Carnage. And Panic Attack at KG and Wiley performance so far. Kim at the controls there, brilliant roboteer. Crustacean backing away. Terra Turtle locked into a CPZ, which will allow Shunt to come in. Panic Attack is by far the strongest of the remaining three. But who goes through with them? Terra Turtle. John Frizzell driving there with little seven-year-old JJ alongside him. Terra Turtle being pushed onto the arena sidewall. Now between a, a rock and a crab ball, and just caught by Crustacean's claws made from 12 millimeter aluminium, driven by a screw jack mechanism, exerting 300 kilos of pressure there. The crab claws and panic attack, a little push as well. Terra Turtle, are they dragging Crustacean or is Crustacean pushing? I wonder. Pit, pit, pit. Oh, now that's interesting. You see Dominic Vissa's gloves there. As he moves his hands, so he moves the crab claws. That's the way the weapons are operated. Unique system on Crustacean. Terra Turtle. Well, they came to laugh, but it is Mock Turtle out there now. There's a kill off. Grabs hold. Oh. Now, what's that going to say? JJ's placard. <laughs> you got no chance. Crustacean, I think he's trying to help you out by nipping at Sir Killalot, but over goes the turtle. Now, this is interesting because that's not in a CPZ, and I'm not too sure whether Killalot should have done that. Meanwhile, Panic Attack is taking on Shunt. Is that wise? Terra Turtle is toppled. The Maple Leaf, is it about to fall? I think this has to go to the judges. Save the turtle, that might come off. Because Killalot, for me, has turned Terra Turtle illegally. The judges are going to have to decide on this one. Panic attack, obviously, through. But who goes through with it? Three wise men. On the left, Professor Martin Smith, Professor Noel Sharkey and Matt Irving. And the judges have made their decision. Although... Kill a lot, turned over Terra Turtle. They say it doesn't matter. The winners are Panic Attack from Wales and Crustacean from South Africa! In a moment, it'll be South Africa against Scotland, but look at this first up England and Wales.
<laughs> this is it. Wales against England. Panic attack versus Firestorm. They're evenly matched. I wouldn't have said that. Why? We beat them three times already. Yeah, I know, but you are quite evenly matched to look at. Well, I don't think I've ever heard him so passionate. <laughs> that was Graham being passionate there, wasn't it? <laughs> well, you know a different side to him. <laughs> Kim, you're the vet, vet here, really, aren't you? You know. He's never got a trophy, so what we might do is... <laughs> we're a very nice team and we've got to let them have at least one trophy. Don't you dare! <laughs> we'll, we'll try and make it last for more than 10 seconds this yeah. time. No. Come on, we want a good fight Which here from both of you, huh? Which side of the arena do you want them out of? Oh! <laughs> so, four countries sent on a long, for some, a very long walk home. Two more are going to join them after round two. Panic attack. They actually lost their crown to Firestorm in the semi-finals of UK3. Kim Davis and Kevin Pritchard. Firestorm 4. Three times UK grand finalists. Graham Bone, Hazel Heslop. Stand by. In the arena for the house robots, Mr. Psycho. Rob Lies. And Sergeant Bash. Three, two, one. Debate. Panic attack there, representing Wales. And Firestorm 4 from Durham in England doing all the chasing. Panic attack. A little bit of panic there. From Kim Davis just steering away, Firestorm 4 up and over, zero ground clearance on both these machines. Firestorm 4 is the quicker, again using that flipper. Panic Attack turning away, they're behind Panic Attack. Lost an advantage there actually, Firestorm 4, now up onto the front prongs and that's dangerous, had that been nearer the arena side wall. Firestorm 4 would have been in jeopardy. Now they're on the push once again. Very strong machine. Once again trying to use the forward hinge flipper to great effect. Panic attack into the CP's head. So too Firestorm 4. Very quick. Good battle this, isn't it? Plenty of experience between the two. I remember a Panic Attack losing to Firestorm 3 in the semi-final of the fifth wars, the fifth UK championships. Now it's Panic Attack's turn to come onto the attack. Firestorm 4 veers away. Could attack by the Welsh team there. Kim Davis a fine driver, so too Graham Bow. Ever the Robot Wars bridesmaid. Been third in the UK Championship twice. Now Sergeant Bass comes out of a CPZ. Panic Attack dragged away. Caught side on by Firestorm, turned on its side. Very, very slow to self-right Panic Attack, if they can self-right at all from there. As Graham and Hazel look on, I think Panic Attack here is finished. Can they come down? They're trying to self-right. The lights are blinking. Kevin Pritchard looks on. There we can see Graham Bone peering out from his control pod as well. A little shove on Panic Attack. Firestorm awaits, the ref bot checks. Panic attack, I don't think he's going to self-right. If they're immobilised for 30 seconds or more, the ref bot will count them out. Firestorm 4 says, where's your watch, ref? There it is. And the countdown to Commonwealth Carnage Oblivion for Wales begins. The pit release has been sounded. Firestorm 4 wants panic attack down the pit, they're out. Firestorm 4 has gone through, and now all that remains is send Panic Attack, not back to the valleys, not back to those famous Welsh pits, but down perhaps into our gloomy, doomy pit of oblivion. Hoisted by Mr. Psycho. Oh! And there in the background, Firestorm 4 has taken on the house robots. Panic attack, being hoisted away by Mr. Psycho. Go on, Firestorm! If you can lift Mr. Psycho, that is one heck of a robot. Mr. Psycho, just a glance there at the hammer to say, no, you'd be ill-advised. He's off the Firestorm 4 now. Now the bash was flicked up and over on its side. 
And no wonder Firestorm's running away here. Get out of trouble. Oh! Six foot two, eyes of blue. Mr. Psycho's after you. Firestorm form running away. Where is he? Go on, Psycho, have a look. No. Come back on panic attack. Mr. Psycho, after all, likes to hit a uh, object that isn't moving, that is defenseless. He has no mercy. Panic attack! Worthy, but beaten. Fast on four and they leave Mr. Psycho! Can they do it? Look at Mr. Psycho! That is a huge weight! Cease. Mr. Psycho saved by the cease! No! Timber! That's a first! Panic attack and the Welsh are out of the Commonwealth Championship! Firestorm and the English, they go burning on! Kim, 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 Kim. Didn't really go well for you. Well, I thought it did, actually, but it lasted <laughs> quite long. <laughs> How come you couldn't self-write? Um, basically, it self-writes when we're upside down. We were on our side, up against the arena, so I haven't really thought about that. And. It, we managed to get it open, but then Refot went in and damaged it, and it, it stopped working, so... Yeah. And then, of course, Mr Psycho picked you up and did a little victory dance with you. Yeah. Um, any damage there? Uh, I don't think so. All right. I haven't seen it yet, though. Oh, well, you've enjoyed it again, it's I suppose. Been great, yeah. And you're back with your old sparring partner as well. Yeah, I was back for tactics. It didn't quite work, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> no tactics. The tactics of defeat. <laughs> yes. Well, you're an ex-UK champion. We love you competing on Robot Wars. Go ballistic for panic attack! <laughs>